Hello everyone, if you're new with Premiere Pro and you're finding it a little bit too complicated, don't worry, because in this video I'm gonna take you step by step and show you how to start your first project, how to upload footage, how to make cuts onto the timeline, how to make changes onto the timeline, how to set a different resolution to your project, and of course how to export it at the end. So without wasting more time, let's get on with it. Now the first thing obviously is to open Premiere Pro and create a new project. And that's how my layout looks like, and if yours it's a little bit different to mine that's nothing to worry about now to create new project go up to new project and click on to the new project button from here you're gonna have this screen in front of you and as you can see we've got a example videos that we can use to practice or even use for our projects and of course there is a lot of things that you can see on this page but don't pay any attention to them at this moment the only thing you have to focus on is the project name which you can change i'll change it to practice and next to the project name you've got the project location where you can choose where to store your project going to the right we've got the import settings from here we can change only the sequence name if you like I'm not gonna change it I'm gonna leave it as it is as a default and just go and click on create and now we have created our project but as you can see the timeline is empty and the reason for that is that we don't have a sequence by the way if you don't have the same layout you can go up to this icon where it says workspace click on it and from here you can choose your layout. In my case, I've got the editing option, which is pretty convenient for me. Now to create the sequence, I will go to project, right click, go up to new item and create sequence. From here, I'm gonna go up to the HD1080 folder and here we've got already pre-made sequences. And the sequence I use, it's always the HD1080 by 25 frames. Then I'll select it, go down to okay, click on it and now we have created the sequence okay now the next step is to upload a footage so to do that i'll go back to the project panel click twice on it with the left button with the mouse go to the destination i want to upload the footage from i'll select the video i want to upload then click on open and this will start uploading the footage in premiere pro now when the video is uploaded the next thing i'll do is grab it and drop it onto the timeline and also if you want to make the things more organized with your footage you can go back to the project panel right click go up to new bin create a new bin change the name to let's say bureau and then grab the videos you think are the bureau and place them into this folder like that you will be more organized and believe me it will save you tons of time and that's how simple it is to upload and drop footage onto the timeline. Now when you know how to start your project, how to upload footage and place it onto the timeline, the next thing I will show you is how to move things around the timeline. So to move anything onto the timeline, you're gonna need the selection tool. So simply go, click on it and then go back to the timeline. And for example, let's say I want to move this video onto track number two. So I'm just gonna simply take it and drop it, whatever I like. You can move it forward like that or you can move it backwards you can do exactly the same with the audio you can move it forward backwards or you can place it onto the audio track below it but that's not the only thing you can do with the selection tool also let's say that we want to shorten the video let's select both the video and the audio track and then if you go at the end of the video you can see that this change to a red arrow which points to the left so if i drag it to the left I'll shorten the video to exactly that point. But let's say that I want to recover this cut. So what I will do, I'll go back to the video and now this time you can see that the arrow change to the right. So I'll click on it and again, drag it to the right until I restore the full length of it. So with the selection tool, you can not only move things around, but also you can shorten the video or make it longer. The next thing I want to show you is how to zoom in and zoom out onto the timeline and also how to make eight cuts onto the video. So to zoom in, I'm gonna press the plus onto my keyboard. And as you can see, we are zooming in. And if I want to zoom out, I'll hit the minus onto my keyboard. So let's say I want to make cuts exactly over there, but I'm not quite sure if it's the right place to do it. So I'm gonna zoom in and move the cursor to somewhere over here. Then I'm gonna go and select the razor tool. Also, you can access this tool by pressing the C button onto your keyboard. So now when we've got the razor tool selected, you can see onto the timeline that we've got a razor. And if I click on here, now we have made a cut onto the video. And also, if I want to make cuts onto the audio track, I'll do exactly the same. And let's say you didn't want to make this cut and you want to go back, you can do it by pressing Ctrl and Z. 
this is gonna restore the previous version of the video or the audio. And now let's say that I want to delete this part of it. So I'll select it with the selection tool and hit the delete button. This will delete this part of the video. But as you can see, it left a gap. So to fix that, I'll go back and now again, I'll select this. And this time I'm gonna hold shift and delete. And what I just done, it's called a ripple delete. So what this will do is delete the part I don't want and also stick both parts together. So there won't be a empty gap. The next thing I'll show you is how to upload a music. Again, I will go back to the project panel. This time I will create a bin. Then I'll go to the music bin, click twice on it. And from here, I'm gonna select any of the music I would like for my project. Let's say it's this one, open, and now it's uploaded into Premiere Pro. And of course, it's the same thing like uploading a footage onto the timeline. Again, I'm gonna drag the music and drop it onto the timeline. Also, if you want to change the position of your video, you can select it, then go up to FS Control Panel, and here from motion, you can change the scale like that. You can change the position if you move it to the left or to the right. And also you can change the rotation. It's simple as that. And now the next thing I will show you is how to change the resolution of your project. I will go up to sequence. From here, I'm gonna go to sequence settings. And if you go down to video, you can see that the resolution is 1920 by 1080. But let's say that I want to create a vertical video and want to change the resolution. So to do that, I'll go to the frame size and change it from 1920 to 1080. And then I'll go to the vertical and change it to 1920. Then I'm gonna go down to OK, click on it. This window will pop up in front of us. I'll click on OK. And now as you can see, we change the resolution from landscape to a vertical resolution, which is perfect for all social media platforms. And here again, if you want to fill up the screen, you can select the video, go out to effects control panel and scale it up. Then also you can reposition it so you can be at the center of the frame. Moving to the next thing, it's how to export your project. So go up to export, click on it. And as you can see, we've got a completely different layout. From here, we're gonna focus onto this part of it. And from settings, we're gonna go down in order. So first is the file name, where you can change the name of your file. Next is location. Here you can choose where you want to export your video. Then going to presets, we've got tons of presets you can choose to export your video. In my case, I always export my videos with this preset, which is the Match Source Adaptive High Bitrate. Then is the format, you always stick to the H.264. This is the basic format, so never change it unless you have to. And if you go down these things, you shouldn't worry about at the moment, just focus on those four things. Next, if you go to the preview, you can see at the range that we've got the entire source. From here, we can select the source in and out, work area or custom. But I always go for entire source if I want to export the whole video. But let's say that you've got a only part of the video you want to export. So in this case, you will go to source in and out. Then the last thing we have to do is go down to export and click on export. So people, there's the basics that you should know when you're starting with Premiere Pro. And once you master them, you'll be ready to take Take the next step and learn how to create more advanced things such as how to create keyframes how to create a text animation how to color grade how to use a shortcuts and many many more things that you can do in premiere pro but until then as i said focus on the basics so guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful if you did so please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one that's it